Durham Jury Association. Uh, the, I don't know how many of you are familiar with FIJA, but it uh, stands for the Fully Informed Jury Association or Amendment. Uh, we're trying to pass an amendment that would require judges to uh, inform juries of all their rights. Uh, the, the kind of the history of this situation goes back to 1670 uh, in the case of William Penn, who in England was preaching a Quaker sermon in his church in England at a time when uh, the only lawful church was the Church of England. And uh, so subsequently the police kicked him out of his church and he went to preach in, to his congregation in the street. And he was subsequently arrested because he was clearly violating the law which was uh, allowed only one religion, that of the Church of England. So during his trial, uh, a man named Edward Bushnell and the other jurors, they uh, they voted to acquit him because they felt the law was unjust. So that was kind of a precedent-setting case, and it established in the English tradition uh, the rights to uh, peaceable assembly, freedom of religion, and freedom of speech. So uh, from that time forward, okay, back to the, uh, the jurors. They did imprison him for acquitting him. And the Court of Common Pleas uh, overturned the, the uh, jailing of these jurors, and they were subsequently let free. So, and uh, from that time until the late 1800s, judges always informed jurors of their right to judge not only the facts of a case, but also the uh, judging the law itself, and uh, and and the uh, ability to vote according to their conscience, and not just the letter of the law. So in the late 1800s, a uh, situation came about where there was special interest lobbying and uh, they influenced a, a series of judicial decisions whereby uh, ju uh, decisions were made giving uh, uh, the judges the right or giving them the discretion whether or not they wanted to fully inform jurors. And since that time on, judges have found it in their best interest not to inform jurors of all their rights. And to this day, pretty much all judges tell uh, jurors that they have to judge the case only according to the facts and that they cannot allow their conscience to uh, infringe upon uh, their uh, decision. And that's clearly not the case. No court in the land has ever ruled that jurors did not have the right to vote according to their conscience but merely the decision in the late 1800s dictated that judges would have it up to their discretion whether or not they informed the jurors of this right. So the jurors have had this right all along. We're just trying to get judges to inform the juries of this because we've had a case. This actually helped overturn alcohol prohibition in the 20s because jurors were refusing to convict uh, uh, whiskey runners and the likes because a lot of the jurors themselves liked alcohol, used it, and they felt it should be up to an individual what uh, intoxicant they chose to use. So this helped uh, overturn the alcohol prohibition and we're hoping that uh, by a public information campaign, jurors can do the same thing with things like marijuana convictions, and overturning and acquitting uh, people for simple things such as marijuana possession and uh, things of that nature.